seen the last videos that the first stuff that we process they call wet meal. So the next stuff we're doing right now is they call dry milling. So dry milling is remove out all the parchment, the shell out of the bean. We separate all the grit. In dry machine, there we have a seven separate screen side. So the bean dropping down, the machine got a shaking. So the bean got to drop down to whatever the side fit to the screen. And then they come out seven grit separated. Extra fancy, fancy, pea berry, number one, prime, mother beans and off grid. From there, we feed the table. The table shakes them and it, and it shakes whatever it's bad, the bad beans and everything, sorts it out. The color sorter will, will pick the size of the bean, shoot out the, if it's not the color, right color for it, or if it's the bean infected. And then from there, fill it up in another super sack, throw it on top, feed over here, and then wait till the state gets, um, stamp it and certify it. Uh, the dry milling is an art just like the wet milling. Wet milling is difficult at certain times. It takes a lot of walking around, making sure everything's moving, and it's exactly the same with the dry milling. If uh, your screen gets clogged, if your beans start popping out of another screen that they're not supposed to, then you gotta stop the whole process. So at all times, you have to be very diligent and watching. It's just as hard as wet milling. While you're getting the green bean, you're extracting green bean, there's a lot of opportunity for parchment, which is uh, just dried up coffee with the skins on top to, to come out of the machine. And if you don't pay attention to that, um, it will affect you know, how we get graded by the state and it will affect how our coffee looks. So definitely, um, you have to pay a lot of attention here in the, in the dry mill. You have to, you're using your eyes, you're using color. You gotta see greens, you gotta see whites, and you gotta make sure that everything is being put in its place in exact order. For the dry milling of the parchment, we dry it between 6,000 pounds to 7,000 pounds per day. For, for the 2020 year, we've been paid close to 500,000 pounds of coffee cherry. I feel like that's what Kona Hills does. They provide the best bean from the start. You know, you got the picker selecting cherry, going to applying the best product on the stores and just uh, staying on top of that, you know? and uh, just working together as a family to get through it, you know, and produce the best coffee on the island. I feel like it's more of the team that's uh, pushing the, to get that, you know, it's uh, not really the equipment and stuff. I feel like it's the team around it that's wanting to push more coffee and wanting to get recognized for that name, you know, like for being the best coffee on the island. Yeah.